Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and on this episode we're gonna go ahead and finish the F-350 4-inch lift install. On the previous episodes we did the front leaf springs, the 4-inch leaf springs on the front. We connected the sway bar and replaced the, the links and all that stuff. And uh, now I finally got the blocks for the rear and new U-bolts. And then we're gonna go ahead and install that on the rear and see how she sits. I'm hoping she's gonna be nice and level and not have the California lean like she does right now. Alright, let's get on it. Let's do the lift install and we're gonna start right now. As you can tell right here from this angle, you can tell the four inch lift on the front and the rear is stock. So you've got a nice little California lean. Oh, well, maybe I should leave it. No, of course not. I'm not gonna leave it like that. All right, so let's see what we got on the front. We got the leaf spring, the four inch leaf spring. And we got the sway bar extensions replaced. We got the four to six inch uh, shocks on the front. Also gotta mount the, uh, the brake bracket. So that's gonna be mounted over here on the frame somewhere. And then we got the ABS line, the ABS wire. So that's gonna be mounted a little bit lower than stock. And then of course in the rear I already got the shock replaced with the four to six inch lift shock. And then also got a, Eight inch tip on the rear. It's not installed fully, just kind of temporarily put on. Um, I actually want to do a video comparing just the pipe and then the six inch and then this eight inch just to see if there's any sound difference. And these are the blocks that I got with the U bolts from Super Lift Suspension. And uh, if you guys are aware, the I believe the Dana 80 are thicker tubes, and then you got Dana, Dana 70. Those are going to be the thinner tubes. Uh, so when you're ordering, let's say, blocks and U-bolts, you want to make sure that your rear end tubes are what it's going to fit. And I got the links to these down in the description as well if you guys are going to do something like this on your truck, F-250, F-350, whatever. They have other stuff for the trucks as well. All right, so let's go ahead and jack up the rear, remove the wheels and uh, remove the stock blocks and put these ones in. Alright, so here's what we got. I took out the stock plate that was over here, but here's a little problem that I ran into. I don't know if I didn't catch this or what, um, but the bolts are way too big. It, it almost seems like they're for a 6 inch block instead of a 4 inch block. But one thing I noticed in the, in the comments on Amazon on their listing, I didn't see it anywhere in the title or uh, on the Amazon description. So from one of the questions that I saw, somebody uh, asked that question on Amazon and they said that you gotta use these blocks with the stock stock plate, which has the bumper stop right here. I don't really care about the bumper stop, honestly. That's why I just bought the four inch blocks instead of two inch blocks. I didn't wanna stack them. So the stock one would go right in between the leaf and the block here and that's why they give you these longer bolts so i don't know i reached out to them see uh if they can send me two inch block bolts instead of these or see what they say or whatever but for for the meantime uh let's just pretend i made a mistake and i ordered the wrong configuration 
even though I just wanted to have four blocks, four inch blocks instead of stacked with the stock one. So I just pretend I made a mistake and blah, blah, blah. And here's what we're gonna do. The thread is not, uh, it doesn't go down lower below the, the plate, so I can't tighten it down too much. So, but here's what I got. I got the washers that go down here. And then I picked up uh, some nuts from Home Depot, but I had to drill them out because they didn't have a big enough to slide over. So I had to drill the threads out and now I'm gonna have these as little little spacers. And then we got the actual nuts for this suspension. We'll go up here and then I'm gonna trim the bolts right here. So let's go ahead and get this done and see how she looks like. All right, guys, and the big girl is done. I think it looks a lot better, a lot, a lot better being leveled. Yep, a lot better. I know she needs bigger tires, which I do have a plan for eventually. Uh, but what do you guys think? 35s or 37s? I think 37s will fit with no rub. On the back for sure. On the front, maybe. I think the dualies might might fit. Uh, uh, I think 37s might fit, or 35s. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below if you think or know if four inch lift will be enough for 37s and not and not rub. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how level she is. So I'm gonna use the body line, the top body line right here. See what we get. Let's see. We are at 53, and we are at 53.14. So that's pretty good. It's a tiny bit higher in the back, and then we got 53.18. That so did that actually level out my truck? Because remember, if you guys remember when I did the front lift, the I believe the driver's side was. I think it was what half an inch 
lower maybe okay we got 53 and 53 so it seems like she is leveled so what gives huh interesting I still have to drive it the front will still settle down a little more the back would be fine because it's just blocks I didn't change the leaves let's measure the the mirror so we got 50 just about 55 yeah so let's say 55 on this side and pretty much 55 so she is pretty leveled she's a lot she's more leveled than she was actually so that's pretty cool and these tires are at 235 85 16. that's like that's like a 30 30 and a half that's like 31 inch probably so those are pretty tiny those are pretty tiny for this truck if anything i think if anything she needs 35s for sure uh if i mean if 37s will fit i will definitely i would want to go 37s if, if there's not going to be any rubbing but 35s for sure 37s maybe so that's going to get this truck this girl up in the air pretty good she's going to look super nice and i probably would want to go 18 inch wheels or 20 inch still not decided on that so now all i, all I got to do is load up the truck with more junk and uh, take her to the dump and also still have to drive 30 minutes to bake the turbo and then let it cool off so and then once i run her a few times then i'm going to take it to alignment and make sure everything's lined up on the front everything's good and i got to realign the steering wheel because it's sideways so yeah the wheels are straight but the steering wheel has to be adjusted and then the pan bar will need to be adjusted at alignment uh, to make sure that the front axle is centered all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more f350 content check out my playlist if you want to see more mustang content check out my playlist everything is there organized ready to go and if you're new to the channel please subscribe like the video comment below and we'll see you on the next one